Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited. So if you follow me on Instagram or social media, um, you'll see that I bought a lot of makeup recently and I was asked to do a unboxing and try on video. So here it is for you. <laughs> um, so yeah, basically I've been buying a lot of stuff, so I'm just going to kind of go through it and I'm going to swatch some stuff for you. And yeah, so let's just get right into the video. Okay. So, um, most of the stuff I ordered online, but a couple of things I picked up in stores. So first of all, I was at Winners and this was like $6, I think. And it's just like a thing full of false lashes. I don't really wear false lashes, but I'm, I want to. And some of these looked really cute and like full. So yeah, I grabbed that. All right. And then I was at Shoppers the other day. And on the sale rack, they had these, which I think are new. It's like a Rimmel London contour stick. It basically like looks, so it has like the highlight on one end and the contour on one end. So I got the shade medium and light so I can test them out. All right, so this is the light contour and highlight and the medium contour and highlight. So they went on really creamy and they look a little bit warm but I'm gonna give them a shot and see how they turn out all right so next I bought a glitter glue from elf cosmetics this is their glitter primer in sheer <sighs> guys it is so impossible to find glitter glue around here so basically where I live um, I went to Sephora to try and find the Too Faced one and they don't carry it I went to shoppers and Rexall no okay so I went to a couple different drugstores trying to find the next one and no one carries it so I managed to go to Sally's Beauty and I found this blitzy bitsy glitter glue so I, those were really cheap so I bought two of them because I ordered the elf one and I ordered the elf one and it said it wasn't going to come until August 11th and I had glitters coming which you will see but yeah so that one came today just before I started filming this video actually so I'm super excited about that Kylie was having a, another buy one get one free sale so I picked up two highlighters. I've heard extremely mixed reviews about these. Um, I've seen videos where people put them on and they're a completely blinding highlight and then I've seen some people swatch them and it's like nothing. So I really wanted to try them myself and I'm absolutely obsessed with this packaging. It's like matte so you can barely see it but it's really cute. So I got the shade Salted Caramel and strawberry shortcake yeah so let's just give these a swatch um, I really want salted caramel because I've heard that one's probably the best and then I got strawberry shortcake for free so if you haven't seen these this is the packaging it's like cardboard it looks the same as the box and then inside you have like the Kylie drip okay so this is salted caramel and that is strawberry shortcake. Um, with a finger swatch, they look pretty blinding. So <clears throat> let's just try it with a brush quickly so I don't take up all day making this video. I have no makeup or primer or anything. And honestly, this is pretty blinding. Now let's go into salted caramel and do this cheekbone. Okay, so this is salted, sorry, this is strawberry shortcake and this is salted caramel. So honestly, I think that they're pretty blinding and I'm really happy that I finally bought them because like I said, I was kind of deterred from buying them because of the mixed reviews I've seen. But I'm really happy with them. Oh, next, I picked up a few things from BH Cosmetics. The first being this bronze palette. It's so, it's the Bronze Paradise Eye and Cheek Palette. Okay, y'all. I get so impatient when makeup comes, and I was trying to collect everything so I could do a um, video of everything together. But I got so excited about these, so I was showing my boyfriend everything last night, and I like, unboxed everything. And this was broken, so I tried to fix it, but like, I don't know, 
So it has this massive mirror, and then here is the color selection. So the bronzer obviously was broken. It did not come looking like that. So I tried to fix it, but I don't know what happened. Um, I followed the like, instructions of what people do online, and it just like never went remotely back to the powder. It's kind of like a cream now, but it's like not very nice. So I, um, BH Cosmetics actually contacted me because they posted a picture of it and they're sending me a new palette. So that's amazing. But yeah, so let's swatch the bronzer or try to. So I do still get a little bit of pigment out of it. It's right there, but really not that much. And that is the highlighter in the palette and it is stunning. So now for the shadows are, they're so pretty and I've not tried them, but I've heard really good things about this palette. Oh my God. Okay. So oh, I did this weird. This is the entire palette. This blue is crazy pigmented. This kind of coppery color is so pretty, but yeah. So that is the entire bronze paradise palette. I've never used BH Cosmetics, but I've heard really good things, so I was really excited to try these. <laughs> Alright, so next from BH Cosmetics, um, basically they had a thing where like if you spend over $25 or something like that, you get a free gift. So this is the free gift I got. It's the Foil Eyes to Go, Foil Eyes Cool to Go palette. It's like this, I would, these are colors I would never really reach for but they do look really really pretty and pigmented so let's just swatch those all right so this is the palette there and they are pretty pigmented this purple is really pretty um yeah so even though i would never pick out this palette i think i can definitely use these for a pop of color okay so Next, I grabbed, this is the reason I was going to BH Cosmetics. Um, I saw Kathleen Lights use this in a video and I was so excited. This is the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. I don't have any bright colored palettes. It's just not something I reach for, but I'm really trying to branch out in my makeup a bit. So this palette is so cute. The pots are pretty tiny, but they are so pretty and apparently super pigmented. So let me just go and swatch this off camera and I'll be right back. So I just swatched all 30 of five, 35 of those shadows. So here we are. So in no particular order, I mean, I tried to keep them in order, but yeah, so this is the entire palette. The majority of these shades are so freaking pigmented. They're kind of chalky and you get like a couple of shimmers, but mostly mattes. These colors down here are like nice foiled shadows and like they're so pretty. This white is pretty, this matte white and this matte black, this red, this freaking purple. Purples are so hard to make. I find purples are always so terrible and the, the peach did it, this blue, even like the yellows, the yellows are so pigmented. Like, this is crazy. Like, look how bright and colorful my arm is. Good job, BH. Okay, so this is the last thing I have for eyeshadow. I managed to get my hands on the Yes Please palette by ColourPop, which is apparently a pretty good dupe for the Sunset palette by Natasha Denona, which is like $139, I think. And this is $16. So the packaging is like cardboard, super cute has all of the names on the back and this is honestly a lot smaller than I thought it would be but it's $16 palette so like yeah and from the first glance the colors are like right up my alley like the warm tones I love and yeah so I never know which way these go so I'm just gonna swatch them and then we can try and figure out the names after okay so this is the yes please palette so i it's like on such a weird angle i try and make it straight i swear so this brown is crazy pigmented 
some of the foils are a little bit powdery but like they go on smoothly but yeah so that is the yes please palette um, I'm so happy I grabbed it I think the colors are amazing and you can't beat $16 for an eyeshadow palette. So another product I managed to finally get my hands on. I tried to get this every time it launched, but I just could never get it. It is the KKW, KKW collab with Kylie Cosmetics. I've heard very mixed reviews about these as well. But honestly, this packaging is enough to just like sell me. So this is the creme liquid lipstick formula and... This is the only product that comes in this formula, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, so I really wanted to try these out. So let me just zoom me in and I'll swatch them on my lips. Okay. So, first of all, I'm going into the shade Kimberly. And we'll just see what happens. Alright, so this is the shade Kimberly. It is a very, I think it's the lightest one in the palette. It's a very light pink nude, kind of peachy nude. But yeah, I think it's really pretty. Um, the formula definitely just slips around a little bit, but I think it's like nice because it's not as drying as Kylie's matte formula. Okay, so next we're taking the shade Kim, which looks a little bit more peachy than Kimberly. Okay, so this is the shade Kim. It's definitely more of a warm toned nude. Um, still really cute, same formula. Yeah, this is Kim. Next, we have the shade Kiki. Alright, so this is the shade Kiki. Um, it's definitely more of a pink, kind of deeper nude, but again, very pretty. Alright, and last but not least for the KKW collection, <clears throat> we have the shade Kimmy, which I believe is the darkest shade. This is probably my favorite nude from the collection. It's like more of a rosy peach color rather than like a nude pink, but yeah, I think it's really pretty and I mean, obviously I haven't worn this formula for more than like three seconds between swatches, but I think that I'm a fan of the formula. Um, I know a lot of people are saying that like it doesn't stay on, but that's kind of just what like normal lipstick does. Apparently it's just like a normal lipstick, but in a liquid form, which it's really nice for me because I have really dry lips and sometimes the matte lipsticks can be way too drying. So yeah. But yeah, so this is the entire KKW Kylie collection. I really like it. Um, I'm going to obviously try it more and see. But first impressions, I think it's a really nice collection and the packaging is to die for. I did a shopping spree. Um, I found this. I was looking on YouTube and I found a review on this website called superglitters.com. Basically, they have... Um, they have glitter, like loose pigment glitter, that's cosmetic grade, for a dollar. They have like a bitty size container, it's a dollar, or a mini jar, which is a dollar twenty-five American. So I went all out. The international shipping was kind of expensive, but I kind of justified it because the actual glitters were so freaking cheap. Okay, so let's just get started. Hopefully these show up on camera as much as they do in person. Okay, so I think I have them all sorted now based on um, finish. So I'm going to start with the two iridescent colors I grabbed. So this one is called Mists of the Mint. Um, so there's the little packaging. I got the mini jars because I was like, am I going to really use these? Okay, so it's really hard to see. But this is a white glitter that reflects mint green. Hopefully it shows up on camera. 
And then next I have the shade Paragon Sky, which is this beautiful turquoise teal blue. It is so stunning. So next into the chunky holographics. So their holographic glitters come in ultra fine and fine. So I just got the fine because I liked the way the holographic ones looked when they were fine because they were like chunkier glitter. So this is Starstruck Silver. You can see the holographic there is stunning. It's not going to focus, but oh, look how pretty this is. Okay, so next is the holographic shade Orbit Orange. So this one's really pretty because it's orange, but it has like the rainbow holographic in it. So next is the shade Pink Tasket, ta Pink Tastic. So this is like a deeper pink, but it has like the holographic shimmer in it. And last but not least for the holographics, this is the shade Golden Eye. It is gold, but then it has like the rainbow reflex. Okay, so now into the metallics, which I got the most of because they were just so darn pretty. This is the shade Pink Kisses, so it's more of a rosy toned pink with just like a slight shimmer in it. And then I got the shade Blushes Pink, obviously I like pink. So this is a lighter pink that has shimmer, it's so hard to see, but that's like the actual color in there that's reflecting. This isn't like a mirror on the back, but this is pink. It's just not really showing up pink on camera. Okay. Next, I have the shade Purple Tears. So this is a deep purple with the shimmer in it. And then I have the shade Princess Peach. This is kind of like a brownie peach color, really pretty. And then I have the shade Ultimate Nude, which is like a, another kind of like a deeper brown color. It's really hard. These are not showing up at all, are they? Then I got the shade Twilight Rise. So this is a dark kind of like gray blue. Super pretty. Then I got the shade Golden Tiara. So this is just a metallic gold shimmer. And last but not least, I got the shade Autumn Bliss. Autumn's Bliss. So this is like a really warm orangey red. Oh yeah, so um, I think that is everything that I've purchased recently. I know I have a couple more things coming. Um, I bought the entire Mega Glow highlighter collection from Wet n Wild. They just released four new shades and I bought the two original shades they had too. So I have all six of those coming and I'll do a separate review on those. I have the Jaclyn Hill palette coming and I will do obviously a video for itself on that one. But yeah. So, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was long. I'm going to try and cut it down for you, but yes. So that is all the makeup I bought recently and swatched it for you. And I'm so excited to try this out and actually like incorporate it into my makeup. But yeah, so thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you at the next, all at the next one. Bye guys.